Let me show you the way to make a custom envelope and then save that envelope as a template so that you can use it as often as you want. First thing I've done in Pages is, well, I've simply started it. And you see in front of me is the template chooser. So I'm going to choose an envelope. I'll click on it, choose it. But let's say it's not exactly the way that I want. So I'm going to change it. And the first thing I'll do is type the proper address. But I'm going to exchange the CLPC for, first of all, a different color. I want that in red. Second, I'm going to change the font. So I'll click on the font and I can scroll down and, oh, let's make it chalkboard. But you can make it anything that you want. Not only do I need to change the return address, but I might want to change this font as well. So let me select all of those characters. Click here on the font. And this one I'll do in a second font altogether. And I'll make the size a little bit bigger. Okay, I have the look the way that I want it. But now I'm going to go to the document inspector and I'm going to change the size. Now this is number 10 envelope. Let's say I change it to monarch. And click OK. So you can see that changed the size over here a bit. Now, this will probably work, but I'm going to cut and paste it. So the first step is cut. And then I'm going to make a text box. I'm going to place that text box wherever I want it. I'll triple click and I'll edit and I'll paste. Click out. So you see, it's the same font that I had previously, but in a different location. And now that it's the text box, I can move it around. I have it exactly the way that I want it now. And so I'm going to come up here to Pages, click File, Save as Template, and I'll call it whatever kind of envelope that I want. The reason to save it as a template is so you can choose it from the template chooser. So I'll call it perfect envelope. And we'll save it. Now I'll close this window. And I'll come over to File, Template Chooser. I'll go to My Templates and notice what's going to be there at the bottom. That's perfect envelope. I click it, click choose, and there I have a template that I've made. And I can address this, do anything that I want from here. But this is the way to make a envelope template exactly as you desire. And now what do you do once you have the template in front of you? How can you address it without having to retype the envelope? I'll come into the template and click and highlight everything. Then from your dock, find your address book. Mine happens to be on the side. And go to the name that you want. In my case, I'm going to call it Computer Genius. I'm going to go to Work. It could be Home. It could be any number of things. And you'll click this and say, and you'll click again, Copy Mailing Label. So find the name. Click the work or home, whatever it is, copy mailing label. Then go back to the document you're working in. Again, the document is in pages. And you'll come up here. And notice this is still highlighted. You'll click edit and paste. And you will be all set. And you notice Computer Genius, and that's his home address.